hey how's it going on guys in this video i'll show you how i created that fast uh, promo animation i'm not going to show you how i created this entire animation but the thing that i'm going to show you is how i created this opening animation right here so i used used a simple plane layer and animated it and i also added this uh, zoom out effect i will basically be using some sort of a parallax effect parallax is essentially the movement between your foreground layer and the background layer in our case our foreground layer will be our text layer and our background will be our background you know the image and then we'll create a sort of a, a movement like a zoom out effect uh, hence that will create your parallax and after that uh, we'll create a spin transition into another slide so this is going to be real fun so let's open up hit film express create your composite shot i already mine set up the first thing that you have to do is import your image i have mine right here and as you can see it's pretty large so i'm just going to have to scale it down so i'm just going to go to transform and change the scale to around 80. i'm just going to create a scale keyframe and move to the two second duration and I'm going to set the scale to 70 there. So a simple uh, zoom out animation. Let's uh, select these two keyframes, convert it to manual Bezier, then go into value graph, then create this sort of uh, create this sort of slope like that. And now we will add our text. So click on new layer, then click on text. I'm going to set the width to 1920 and height to 400 then click on ok select your text tool and type in your text i'm going to hit ctrl a to select my text go to the text tab change the font to arial black you are free to choose any other font and i'm going to change the font size to around let's do 120 and i'm just going to align Put them put some spacing in between the letters uh, just increase this value right here and I'll also click on this button that says center alignment to bear that in mind that this only aligns your text in the center of this blue box it doesn't align your text to the center of your composition so we have to center that up so uh, go to the effects tab search for the 1080p title save guide effect apply it on your image and that will give you these guides and that will help us to align our text in the center go to the transform of your text and use the anchor point just increase that value and just put it somewhere in the middle like 123 looks fine for me and we will scale uh, we will animate that as well the our text so expand it create a scale keyframe change the scale value to something like 500 and it's going to move to the two second duration and set it back to 100 percent select these two keyframes convert it to manual bezier then go in value graph i'm just going to drag this handle to the left like that and this one to the left as well just a bit something like that and let's take a look at our animation all right so far so good so what I'm going to do is move my playhead to the two second duration. You can check the time right here. I'm just going to trim this, these two clips. So I'm just going to select these two clips, move to the end of the animation and just simply drag it in and that will just trim it. I'm just going to go to the media tab and import my second image and we will animate it as well. And on this one, I would like to create a this one we created a zoom out on and this is this one i'll create a zoom in effect so go to the transform make sure you are at the beginning of this clip create a scale keyframe move to the end of this clip change the scale to 90. or let's just uh, change the scale to 110 and set this one to 100. i'm just gonna uh, select these two keyframes, convert it to manual bezier, then go into value graph and I'll sort of create another sh 
shape. I'm going to cook like this one. So something like that. Really subtle. So I'm just going to add a text layer or I can just duplicate this one and put it at the top. Let's make sure that it starts right over here. And uh, we ha it's already animated since we duplicated it it will be already animated so we just have to reset the scale keyframes set it to 100 and also change the text so again use the text tool and type in your text and let's just animate it so this one is zoom out so this one let's create a zoom in effect on the text Make sure you are at the beginning of your text layer. Create a scale keyframe. And let's move forward. And let's just increase this to one, one, 130. Select these two keyframes. Convert it to manual Bezier. Then go into value graph. And I will create that same slope. So it's going to use drag it to the right. And this one to the left just a bit or let's do one thing let's just bring this one over to the left and this one right over here yeah that looks cool all right guys now it's time to add that uh, rotation transition and to do that uh, we just go into our background image and just animate it we'll use the rotation value here so just double click on this keyframe and that will move your playhead there set up a rotation keyframe just type in 90 there and then make sure you click on this icon to create a keyframe move 10 frames back and now set the rotation to zero so you'll have this sort of rotation then select these two keyframes, convert it to manual bezier, then go into value graph and then create a curve like this. All right, now we will copy these uh, keyframes, the rotation keyframes, copy, just uh, paste it on our text layer. Make sure your rotation is highlighted, right click and click on paste. And that will paste those keyframes. Make sure your second one is just underneath this one. Now your text will rotate as well. Now we will animate our second slide, which is this one. Create a rotation keyframe, set the rotation to negative 90. Move 10 frames forward, set the rotation to zero. Use convert the keyframes to manual bezier, go to value graph. And then create a slope like this one and then we'll copy these keyframes paste it on our text make sure they are properly positioned and now you'll have this smooth rotation transition now uh, we are almost done let's add that opening animation and the way I created it was just create a new uh, plane layer set its color to black and we can just name it bar top and hit enter on your keyboard then I'm just going to put this in the center but I have to find the middle point so I will use the go to the effects I have the 1080p tile safe guide effect but I can't see it oh it's right here so I'm just going to use this one, this layer, the bar top layer and just put it right in the center. I want the bottom edge of it to be in the middle. So let's just put it right here. All right, let's let's take a look at the value. So it's at, let's do a round value like 540. And make sure your playhead is at the first frame. So create a position keyframe move to like 50th frame of your video and set the position to let's just change it to like 900 
and select these two keyframes, convert it to manual bezier, then go into value graph, and then just simply drag this handle to the left. And we are done with our upper part. We just have to create the bottom as well. So I'll just duplicate it and rename it to bar bottom. I'm just going to go inside that layer, go inside transform, double click on my first keyframe. Just have to put a negative sign before that number there. So it should be negative 540. And on this keyframe, just put a negative sign in front. And that should do the trick. We can go to our background layer and delete the title safe guide effect. We don't need that. And I think that's it, guys. That's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please do consider liking this video and also subscribing to this channel as it took a lot of work to create this tutorial. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.